I was in a scuba diving movie called Last Breath. Preparing for that movie, I was underwater doing multiple dives a day. We we're doing night shoots, four, five, six hours. You come out of that and the hunger that you experience emerging from the water is unlike anything you've ever felt before. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, that was a lot of fried chicken and gravy and just so much like sauce and carbs because your body is just like so deprived of energy and it just needs to, it just needs to fill up. Hi, I'm Simu Liu, and today I'm gonna to show you what my diet looks like and explain how it informs my training. I think the philosophy behind my diet is don't lose the joy of eating. I've done and experimented with a lot of diets that quite frankly just don't taste good. And I find that that makes me very grumpy and impossible to deal with. For breakfast, love an avocado toast with a poached egg on top. We'll use really high quality whole grain bread drizzled with some, some Mila chili crunch just for flavor. There's garlic bits in it that really just goes so nice with the avocado and the egg. So if I have time, prepare like a, like a smoothie with some yogurt, some fruit, some spinach is a really great way to hide a lot of really nutritious food that doesn't really taste like anything, which is which is awesome. So then, you know, I'll typically work out in the mornings. We'll do like maybe a protein shake after. They make a, a matcha milk tea protein shake, which is, I think, just amazing. And it tastes really good. Like it tastes like you're having boba. I think I live a much more joyous life. And I think my the people around me are a lot more joyous when I have fun and I have food that tastes good. For lunch, I'll order something like, you know, Takaya or sweet green, tender green goop, you know, Air One, something that gives me a nice clean piece of protein, like a, like a salmon, skirt steak, or a, or a nice juicy piece of chicken. Big fan of buffalo cauliflower, garlic green beans. I am Asian, so I always will want rice in every meal, just in some way, shape or form. It's a great carb, it makes me feel good. It's like a warm hug and it just, it just fills you up and gives you energy. Dinner is where I believe that you should have a little fun and often, you know, we're doing either a dinner meeting or it's a time for you to catch up with friends. So, you know, I, I definitely am all about the deliciousness of that meal. I try to limit red meat as much as I can and I also, I'm crazy for seafood. I love fish, I love sushi, I love lobster, I love shellfish, oysters, everything. So I'm pretty sure I just named every single food group just then, but I just love good food, I'm gonna say. I'm working with a nutritionist and physical trainer right now. His name is Ethan and he's great. I think he's starting to introduce me to the idea of macros and counting, but I, I also, I know I, I'm just not good at keeping track of it for myself. I think if somebody were to keep track of it for me, that would be the ideal situation. It's either somebody keeps track of it for me or it doesn't get kept track of. I feel like intermittent fasting works quite well naturally with the with the shooting schedule. Set hours are long. They're, they're grueling, they're tough, but they're also busy. So you're not constantly thinking about it, which is which is nice to set early in the morning. Maybe you're still waking up or you'll have a water or a coffee, have your first meal. It might be like 11 or 12, maybe even later than that. There's kind of a natural meal, six or seven. That'll be it for the day. Just trying to maximize the enjoyment out of that six hour window as much as I, as much as I can. My favorites, you know, Korean barbecue, hot pot, sushi, noodles. You know, I know some people have a cheat day. Dinner is my, my cheat meal. There's a couple roles that I definitely changed my eating habits for. Action movies like Shang-Chi and Atlas. When you're doing stunts and you're active constantly, you get hungry so fast and you burn through energy really, really quickly. So I think you really need to pile on the carbs if you're doing stunts every day and you need energy to make it through. Otherwise, you're just gonna peter out, you're gonna burn out and like not have anything left in the tank. I've received a lot of diet advice from co-stars. I don't know that I'm always following it. I feel like a lot of people are generally more disciplined than me when it comes to food. With, and all due respect to everybody else, I just love food. And so it's about taking the extra step and finding something that's healthy and delicious. And especially when you're in a great food city like LA or Toronto or London, you know, it's like even harder because you know all the amazing restaurants that are out there. You just want to 
eat all of it. You know, it's a tough one. I'd say definitely the training, you know, depending on the role, sometimes you're training, you know, four or five, six hours a day. And it's and it's it's tough on your body. It really is. Toughest diet I was I, I did for a role is probably leading up to Shang-Chi. I was doing an hour of strength and conditioning and then like four to five hours of start rehearsal every single day. And I was on a meal plan that wasn't accounting for the four to five hours of stunt rehearsal. It was only designed for the for the hour of strength and conditioning. And so I was on a massive caloric deficit. I was losing a ton of weight. I was hungry and tired all the time. My trainer was like, you should be eating twice the amount that you have been because like we, we kind of just have not been factoring in all this other work that you've been doing, which is, you know, very, very cardio heavy. And that stuff makes you hungry. I like to have a meal with Ken because I don't know what Ken eats. I don't know that Ken has a digestive system. Although now that I think of it, I don't think Harlan from Atlas has a digestive system either. They're both kind of not human in a way. Vegemite, not my favorite. I just, it's so pungent and so incredibly salty. It's not my, it's not my thing. Go-to comfort food, soup dumplings, fried chicken. Secret to a really good protein shake, um, matcha. Oh, that's tough. It would be like a tuna belly, like a sashimi or a sushi, or it would be like, like really, really good Korean barbecue. Last meal that I cooked for a date, that would be a very, very long time ago. Not since I've had a date, since I've, <laughs> since I've cooked for a date. Um, what did I make? I probably made like a, some sort of a vegetable stir fry with some noodles, because I feel like that's what I'm most confident in. That's my go-to. Uh, smooth, smooth, definitely smooth. I love to dip my pizza crust in like a garlic or like a ranch, something creamy. Oh, that's an interesting question. Jollibee fried chicken. Jollibee fried chicken? No, I think it'd probably be Korean barbecue. The best food smell in the world is the smell of my parents' dumplings. I have a dumpling company called Mila that ships soup dumplings right to your door. You steam them yourself and they're flavorful. So, so delicious. Yes, I always lay a towel down though. In and out order, double double animal style with grilled onions and banana peppers, animal fries, and a vanilla milkshake and a Diet Coke. The most important thing is getting yourself to the gym. Don't get caught up in like, what is the ideal workout? What is the, what is the macro? How do I optimize? It's just getting your butt there. That's already 75% of the battle. Give yourself a lot of grace and just challenge yourself to show up.